Welcome back. This lesson deal with if set variable and loop button. Let's get into set variable button. This button modifies the variable value. For example, I create x variable and set the value is 2. In this button dialog, first you need to select a variable. Then select an operator. It can be equal, plus, minus, multiply, divide it, and concatenate. The first four operators treat x variable as a number. Concatenate treat x variable as a string instead. I choose equal, which means it will assign a value to the x variable. Let's start automation, and the new value of x variable should be 10. Let's try another operator. The original value of x is 2, so this automation should be 8. The final operator is concatenate. x variable will be lengthened by adding another string to the end. Next, if button. This button sets a condition and decide how the automation should be afterward. I'm going to create two variables, A and B. I want to set a condition, A is smaller than B. So the left operand is A. The right operand is B. The operator is smaller. If the condition is true, this green dot will continue the work. If not, the red dot will. I insert set variable button and then create a new variable result. If A is smaller than B, I want the result to be true. If not, the result will be false. After starting the automation, the result should be true. If I change the value of A variable to make it bigger than B, the result will be different. It will be false. Finally, let's learn loop button. So what is loop button used for? For example, I want to open three new tab genlogin.com. We can do it with new tab button. But the question is, how to do it more efficiently? So here comes the loop button. The first type of loop is for. It's very simple and straightforward. It repeats the chain of action a certain number of times. To make 5 repetition, I set 4 from value 1 and 4 to value 5. I only need to create a single new tab button. The left yellow dot is beginning point and the right yellow dot is ending point of a repetition. The right green dot tells what to do if the loop button runs successful. If the loop button runs fail, the red dot will be used. Let's start automation. The automation has opened file new tab genlogin.com.
the second type of loop with while loop. This is much more advanced and less commonly used compared to for loop. It requires a variable to run. So I create a variable named count and its value is 1. In while loop, there is a condition. The while loop continues to run as long as the condition is still satisfied. In this example, I want to make three repetitions. So I make a condition that count variable is less than or equal to 3. Firstly, create new tab button. At the end of the repetition, create set variable button. Set count variable increase by 1. Create a new variable report to tell if the loop button runs successful or failed. Let's check the information again and then start automation. It's supposed to open three new tab genlogin.com. There are many more advanced ways to use while loop button, but it's a story for another video. Thanks for watching and see you in next lesson.